<laughs> Stewie, you want a mommy rocket ride? What? What do you mean? Here we go. Get ready for blast off. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, my God, Stewie, are you all right? Nice throw, Casey Anthony. Oh, my God, I hope the guys at Sears Portrait Studio will be able to retouch this. What am I saying? Of course they will. They're Sears. What the deuce? Well, hello there. I say, you're a cute little fellow. Tell me something. What do you think about Rose McGowan? Yeah, she makes my turtle head go in, too. How about Michelle Rodriguez? Yeah, me too. Kind of, right? You know, she's got like a cute tomboy thing where you feel like you could play softball with her and then later on give her the old sausage. I like you. I can tell we're going to be good friends. We've got that unspoken bond that all bald guys have. I thought he'd never leave. Me neither. Oh. Oh, did you guys just do the thing? Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, you guys, that was Lois. She's going to be here in ten minutes. Dad, how did you get Mom out of the house so we could decorate? Well, Chris, I constructed a very elaborate fake grocery store. Oh, my God. Are these pickles really only 39 cents? That's right, ma'am. Wow, this is incredible. What the hell's going on here? And over here are my toys. This is my fire truck, my slinky, my silly putty. You know, silly putty's awesome, but you know what's really cool? Serious putty. Oh, this looks like fun! It says I have cancer. We thought it would be better if you heard it from chemicals in an egg. Hey, Stewie, better come down. The party's about to start. What is that? Is that a turtle? Yes, Brian, I found him at the park. I named him Sheldon. Oh, and get this, I brought him home today, and coincidentally, this is the day Rupert started working out again. So transparent. Rupert, what happened to your eye? Brian, did you pull one of Rupert's eyes off? No, why would I do that? Maybe your turtle did it. Nonsense! Sheldon is a gentle soul. He wouldn't hurt anybody. Well, come on, let's get downstairs. Lois will be here any minute. Birthday. Oh, my God! Happy birthday, Lois! You guys shouldn't have done this! Hey, any time you can celebrate the end of someone's periods. Everyone, everyone, I have something to say. To my dearest Lois on her birthday, what a journey we've had together. You know, life has a way of changing things. What were once two firm, impressive mountain peaks have become a barren, strip-mined, muddy landslide that droops ever downward. What were once pink and succulent rose petals now take the form of the shredded, raggedy, blown-out end piece of a practical joker's exploding cigar. Yeah, Peter, that, that's enough. Lois, you may not be the young filly you were when I met you, but you're still my reliable old plow horse who's there each day to pull the plow, to help around the barn, and let the husband horse slap a bat chatter now and then. Well, I guess that's it. I love you, sweetheart. And I have a lovely gift of the batch-slapping variety waiting for you when I'm just the right amount of drunk. To Lois! To, to Lois! Lois! <laughs> Lois! Mom? Jeez, what the hell's her problem? Peter, she was already feeling insecure about her age, and then you went and gave her that horrible speech. I don't blame her. Nobody likes to be humiliated in public. I'm King Stewie. I rule with an iron fist. La 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 la. Look at me. Woohoo! In my office, now. <laughs>